Thank you very much. Very good afternoon. สวัสดีค่ะ Madam Moderator, Standing Committees, Sisters, Brothers, it is my honor to be with all of you in the afternoon after big lunch, and I'm glad that all of us still awake. Thank you very much again for having me as one of the member of the such a uh, great conference today in the lovely town of Baku, Azerbaijan. It is my first time here, but I was very impressed with both hospitalities and the wonderful cultural program just yesterday, both at the historical site and the museum of your great president of Haida Ali Wev yesterday. I was so impressed with all three quotes, which I would like to share with you once again today. May I have my glasses on? First, as he mentioned that, our statehood, our heritage, our achievement. And the second quote, development of culture mean development of nation and immortalization of national spirit. And the last one, I think all of these wonderful quotes were led by many women in many families of the great nation of Azerbaijan. Coming from Thailand, southern part of Thailand, with my disappearance, you may think that I am from Malaysia, but sorry, I am from southern Thai. But we are relative, we are sisters, we are brothers, so that's why, as a Muslim from southern Thailand, so I prefer to wear as a Muslim or lady who believe in Islamic teaching, so that's why I wear my hijab. Coincidentally, just last week before we left Bangkok, Thailand with our great leader, Mr. Chuan Lee Pai, who is speaker of Thai parliamentary, was a host of ASEAN International Parliamentary, we call IPA, which is the conference of the member of parliament in ASEAN region. We adopted the sorry again, resolution which I would like to share with you today, at least two of resolution about women in politics or parliamentary women. The first one, which is coincidentally again the same resolution or the same theme of this conference, stated to promoting gender equality and the empowerment of women in ASEAN. Of course, as a political party, our Democrat Party have to adopt and continue to implement this solution. I would like to share part of the solution. We stated that we will not leave anyone or no one is left behind. All women and girls will be included in all development program. Another thing that I would like to share is the fundamental human rights is a necessary fundament, fun, foundation for a peaceful, prosperous, and stable society. So this is just example of the solution from IPA which is just held in Bangkok just last week. And the second resolution that our party have to adopt and we have to implement it in, according to uh, this very important conference, which is bridging the gender gap in technology-based disciplines. With, I am so glad that Dr. Nalini just shared in, at the early of this session. So I would like to end up my presentation today 
with the commitment of us all here, which I think very important, as it stated that gender equality and women empowerment are not only human rights. They are also imperative for achieving inclusive, equitable, and sustainable development. Women's political participation is, con is central to those goals, and political parties are among the most important institutions for promoting and nourishing such participation. With less women than men in the world's parliamentary nowadays, it is clear that political parties need to, be, need to do more and should be assisted in those efforts to support women's political empowerment. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to end up with my quote that our nations, our regions, our humanities, our world will move forward with women empowerment. I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Kat.